To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy. Find. Forget. Lend. Lose. Marry. Refuse. Remember. Save. Spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well... They say honesty pays, right? Tell us what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the IF clause and the MAIN clause. Let's work first on the IF clause. This one is formed with IF plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. 
eighth clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in a discussion box. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the IF clause and the MAIN clause. Let's work first on the IF clause. This one is formed with IF plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in a discussion box. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. 
This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's going on, Kevin? How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Is it raining where you live? Is it raining where you live? Awesome, awesome. Are you ready for your class? Yes, teacher, you're ready for the class. Oh, awesome, awesome. How was your day? Hello, Kevin? Hello? Hi. How was your day? Uh, I say my job, which is a very activity. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to be looking at the first video. Notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for imaginary. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if, plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. 
If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to... All right, guys. So that's a review from yesterday's class. Does anybody have any questions about these examples? Does anybody have any questions about these examples using the conditionals? Nobody? Okay. So today I would like for us to move forward and we are going to be looking at this section over here, which is coming from section number 5.7, lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will be introduced to past models in order for them to talk about actions in the past. Listen to the video, please. Past models. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember, for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two. You saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Okay, now for this example, what you're going to do is you're going to give me five examples using the past models. For example, you should have been more careful. It was my favorite book. You should have studied for the test, dude. If teachers find you out cheating, it won't be happy. He won't be happy. I want you to give me at least five examples. Five examples using the past models. Any questions? Ready? Let's begin. You will have five minutes you can share your screen with your partner.
Mario. Here is examples, uh, question and answer. Good. Ah. Okay. Ay, ¿qué hice? Okay. ¿Qué podemos poner primero? We can write you should have done What do you mean borrow? Borrow it. Borrow it. Okay. I'm sorry? Borrow. ¿Dónde está viendo la pregunta? Eh, después en el video aparecían. No, fíjese, no me, no me fijé. Si quiere, veámoslo otra vez. Ya es lo último del video. Pero aquí no se puede adelantar, ¿verdad? Sí. Siempre lo intento, pero no puedo. No, no puedo adelantar. ¿Ves? Ah, ya. Ahí. Uno de los ejemplos. Después de eso. Después de esto.
Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, please. Okay, okay. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, please. Okay.
Okay. Now, what we are going to do is look at the following one. On the following one, we're going to go ahead and move forward, and we're going to be looking at section 5.9, knowledge check. 5.9, knowledge check. Instructions. Complete these conversations. Work with the verbs in brackets. Instrucciones. Complete estas conversaciones. Trabaje con los verbos en parentheses. So, in this activity, you're going to be looking at these examples. A cashier gave me too much change. What should I have? You should have something. And after that, we're going to take a look at it together and see if you have the right answer. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready, ready teacher. All right, yes. let's do it. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Diana. You share the screen? Yes, in a minute. Thank you. There, there, there is. There, there are. And the staff answered. Mm -hmm. Solo porque no la contractaba, me salía mala. Pero creo que se puede de dos formas. Mm -hmm. You finish the... Amanda. Hi, Amanda.
All right, all right. Let's look at the first one. Let me have the first one. Let me have the set. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? Excellent. Have done. Excellent. Excellent. Number two, B. You should have said something. You should have said something. Excellent. Number letter B. You shouldn't have taken the money. You shouldn't have taken the money. You shouldn't have taken the money. Number two, I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What should you have? Done. 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 I would have replied. Replied to the person. It just makes takes a minute. Number three. I was watching a good movie when the phone rang. What should I? I have done. What should I? I have done. Have done. You should have taken the call and taken the call. Okay. Mm, the person you'd call later told. 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 We left all our trash at the campsite, what? Would. Would you have, have done. done? Have done. I would have taken it with me and thrown, thrown it away later. Okay. Awesome. Good job. Any questions in regards to this activity? Questions in regards to this activity? No. Okay, let's look at the last activity for this section is going to be section 5.10. 5.10 is a reading section. In this section, you're gonna be looking at reading exercise, ask Amy, reading exercise, instructions, Read the article, identify the following words within the article, then choose the meaning of each word or phrase. You're going to click right here where it says Ask Amy in the corner. And you're going to read the article over here. And then over here, you're going to identify. You will have five minutes ready. Let's do it. Ya hizo la actividad. Yes. Me too. <laughs> okay. So we finish already. The, but I hit the iPhone. I'm so sorry? That, but I hit the article for pronunciation. Oh, you want, you want me to read it? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. No problem. 
you want me to share my screen? I cannot. You please. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, I see it. Okay. You fit and six. I'm sorry. You fit. Oh, okay, okay. Dear Amy. Someone told me that my brother, my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did, he decided to confront her with the story. They had a terrible argument. And although she denied the rumor, they broke up. Now it turns out that the rumor wasn't true. And my brother isn't speaking to me. Okay. You want me to keep reading or you want to read you? Sorry? You want me to keep reading the article or do you want to read it? Okay. ¿El qué, perdón? Me está revocado una vez. Que todavía no puede, no puede hablar. Estaba con gripa. Uh, Entonces quiere que, que siga. Eh, ahorita le voy a leer yo el... Ah, dele, dele. Parte. Es que no le había entendido. Ah, dele. Okay. Dear, you're making him to AC for him to stay where he is. Be fair and tell him he has two months to find a job and get his own place. He's old and now to take her or himself, but you have to to be willing to let let him go. Next. Dear Amy, my son is 23 years old. He finished college last year, but he can't seem to find a job he likes. He still lives at home, and I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and support himself. Meanwhile, I've been cooking his meals and doing his laundry. Did I will so good to keep quiet, let them work things out for themselves when you say sometimes you call uh, the mic, no sé cómo se pronuncia, your friendship with Bao or then. Dear Amy, I went to the movie with my best friend, to the movies with my best friend and her younger brother. She wasn't feeling well, so afterward he drove me he drove me home. While we were driving, he told me he had skipped school that day, taking his mother's car and gone to the beach. My dilemma is, should I tell my friend about this? Dear, you should have thought more powerful before you acted. I was necessary to get angry. Next time, speak to the child immediately. Immediately, and want him to know him not to do it again. Dear, well, you learned a lesson. You shouldn't have listened to gossip, and you shouldn't have passed it in, passed it on. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize sincerely, and hope he will forgive and forget. Thank you. Thank you too.
All right, let's look at the first one. Confront. Confront. Challenge in a direct way. Challenge in a direct way. Very good. Number two, distraught. Distraught. Extremely worried. Extremely worried or, or upset. upset. Extremely worried or upset. Dilemma. A difficult, a difficult problem. problem. A difficult problem. Firm. A strong and determined. Strong and determined. Strong and determined. Everybody repeat. Um, strong, determined. And strong and determined. Strong and determined. Strong and determined. Strong and determined. Work things out. Work things solution. out. Find a solution. Forgive and forget. Make, Make a fresh start. start. Make a fresh start. All right. Okay, guys, we have finished the unit. So now we are going to be looking at the final exam. For this activity, you're going to start off with the listening and you're going to move forward going through each section. In this section, I can't help you but you can help each other. You may begin. Ah, por eso a mí va. Ok, comparta, please. Share and screen. Ok, so. Finally, come Okay. If Wanda won the lottery, she should quit her job. It will have the same joy as like winner. He choose the new car. Carl says he will have return the big tip. According to Bros. Tina should have told her students not to use their cell phone in class. Somos tan veloces. <laughs> if, if your doctor told you to get more exercise, 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 exercise. Which sport wall you choose? Okay. I'm not sure, but I might go going, go jogging, jogging, jogging two or three times a week. A week. What will you do? What 
would you do if your car broke down? If I could, could not afford to fix it, I would have to work everywhere. If you had three months to travel, where would you go? Oh, well, that's easy. I will fly to Antarctica. I have always want to go there. You have to, to turn out the lights before you leave. You can't eat or drink in the classroom. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Okay. People communicate with one another using word and body language. Body language includes postures, facial expression, and gestures. A smile can show friendly, friendliness. ¿Cómo se dice esto? Friendly, friendliness, interest, and sometimes politeness. 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 Someone who points a finger at you may be angry. Politeness. It's when the one the lottery, she will quiet her job. This feeling had the same choice as like night. Last night, winner, he chose the new car. Carl says he will have returned the big tip. According to Bruce, Tina should have told her students not to use their cell phone in class. If Wanda won the lottery, we, she will quit her job, quit her job, as she says, quit or quit. 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 If we have the same choice as like winner have choose the new car according to bra brush brush tina should have told her student not to use their cell phones in class no la dije no All right, guys, time's up, time's up. Please continue working on the final exam. We're going to go over it tomorrow. Have a good night and enjoy. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, Bye, everybody.